Mumbai and Lonavala, we are about to gate crash the last wedding of the season. I am your host, Ale Kapoor, and this is my co-host, Harleen. Harleen, Harleen, I swear to God, I'll throw you out of the car if what you're eating right now is a chicky. <laughs> Ale, weddings is all about sweets. A sweet bride, a sweet groom, some sweet friends, and lots and lots of chicky. Achha. In all your fascination for the chikki, do you even remember whose wedding we are going for? Of course. So the groom is Mohit from Kolkata and the bride is Nidhi from Nagpur. And they are doing a destination wedding in Lonavala. So Lonavala, here, here we go! You know, there's this moment that you meet someone, you may not know where it's going to lead to you, and you may not know whether the person is still going to be in a conversational state with you or may land up being a friend or may land up being a better partner of yours in your life. That's how we started it. That's how we met. Mohit is one of those really, really few men available on the face of earth and I, and I mean it when I say that. Being a friend to a best friend to being a boyfriend to now becoming a husband, I don't think I could have managed uh, getting anyone better. I am Nidhi Banthia and uh, you are here attending my wedding. Hi, I am Mohit and I am the groom to be. There was a call made uh, from either of the mothers to the other and they both decided that let uh, the kids meet first. We decided to meet in some nice restaurant around uh, Worli. And uh, we decided to meet up over lunch. It just kept happening, we kept talking, he was very nice, he's chivalrous to another level. I don't know of any man who can match up the chivalry that Mohit does. So I don't think I'm a very chivalrous person in any manner. I don't believe in any form of PDA. I think uh, she was having some issue with her finger that point of time and uh, that's the first time I think I ever hand fed anyone. By large we spent the whole day together. That was the first sunset we watched together. Yeah, that's the little story that we have. Uh, it started from a lunch and it ended to some 8-9 hours, 10 hours together. They were beautiful, they were really really amazing. I got to see a side of a man that I'd never in my life seen before. My name is Abhishek Paul. I'm Mohit's best friend. I'm Kanika and I'm Nidhi's neighbor and her best friend. I know him through mutual friends. Well, back when I was in the UK, I was in Swansea, he was in Cardiff. We had a lot of mutual friends, but we never met. I came down to Calcutta one day and uh, let's just say we were at the right place at the right time. Mohit is a really good person. Like, he's very down to earth. He's a mama's boy to a friend's friend. Uh, I know like if I have any problem at 2 o'clock or 4 o'clock in the night, if I call Mohit, he'll be there. Nidhi is the coolest girl that one can ever meet or be with. So she's extremely, extremely non-judgmental, hassle-free, she's responsible and she's fun. So um, Nidhi and I are together because we have one thing in common and that's craziness. Paul has the responsibility, first of all, of having bubblegum over here. Secondly, I want him to split the entire bubblegum band away. I want them to be equally divided between different areas of the resort where different group of people are being split up. I don't think I'm going to perform, it's just I'm going to live it because trust me, this is my 38th, 9th wedding. I'm going to handle it pretty well. So one of the responsibility of Paul is to give his insights and his knowledge to the photography team. He should lead the entire character to make a video which I want to send away to all the people who have been a part of this wedding on the 21st only to make people smile and tell them that it was a wedding which wouldn't have been fruitful if they were not there. Yeah, so there are going to be a lot of videographers in the wedding. I just have to direct a little bit and capture all the candid moments and make a video out of it. Mohit has some fancy kick entry. 
for the Sangeet for the musical night and I'm being treated like a sidey, like a nobody clearly and I'm not one so I'm gonna give it back and give it back with a punch and Kanika uh, you have to plan this for me I want to have like a mega tuk-tuk entry like a modified auto entry Seems like a lot of hard work when you're doing all of this. Yes, Alek. All the hard work has been put in by Mohit and Nidhi. Actually, that's why they couldn't even make it to meet Anita. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you, mm -hmm. Nidhi is not going to look any less than a princess. Princess? Take a look. What I'm doing here is a good question. I have come to chill with you. Okay. How's it been? Hectic and busy, Harleen, as always. Yeah, you've been busy dressing yes. up princesses. <laughs> I know, it's been crazy the last few days. But that was a beautiful outfit, the Love Notes collection. Yes, that print really looked beautiful on her, I think. Yeah. And it's just amazing, the number of emails and messages and the number of orders from all over the world and people who love the dress. And I'm so happy because it's such a nice Jaipur print. So you also had the entire Love Notes collection at your fashion week? Yes. And who was the showstopper? Sinakshi Sinha and she totally rocked it. Oh you yeah. I've seen her on stage. Oh my god. I, I, you know, very few people, have, actually I've never met anyone who has the kind of energy she has. Wow. And what was the theme of your uh, the show? Uh, so it was essentially a Jaipur inspired print. It was exactly what you'd wear clothes, very light clothes that you'd wear to a beach wedding. You know, some just cool printed uh, kurtas. I mean, I showed them on the ramp with shararas and the patas. I, I love the fact that everything is versatile. I see a lot of those clothes being worn at a pool party, beach weddings, summer weddings. So I think the dress code's got to be more casual, right. more fun, more chic. I think you should have a quick look at Anita's show at this year's Fashion Week. Amazing show. So Anita, I'm actually here to discuss about our next bride and groom. Mm -hmm. Like you know, this is going to be the season finale. It's the last episode. The bride is uh, Nidhi. She's from Nagpur. Mm -hmm. And uh, the boy is Mohit. He's from Kolkata. Mm -hmm. And you won't believe. We were just talking about uh, Princess Kate. So they want us to style their pool party. Okay, great. Because their wedding is happening in summer. It's going to be a destination wedding in Lonavla. So they've sent us a video which I'd like to show you. So we get an idea of what they exactly want. Okay. Let's see it. This is Nidhi. Uh, I'm really excited to get styled by Anita Dongre. I don't have anything particular in mind, but uh, of course something which is a summary for the pool party. I totally love what uh, Kate Middleton uh, wore to her recent visit to India. And uh, I don't think I have anything very, very particular in my mind because I obviously think she's a better judge to decide. But anything which is cool yet classy and which will make me outstand. Can't wait to get styled by you, Anita. 
So Anita, what do you have in mind for her? Are you going to give her the same dress that the princess wore or is she going to wear it? You know, I think she has a heart set on that dress. So I'm going to do something very special. Nidhi had a heart set on wearing the same print that uh, the Duchess of Cambridge wore. And since it's a pool party, I think it fits very appropriately. I'm going to add uh, some Gotapati work for her on that print and I'm going to make her something really nice. So Mohit has also sent a video okay, for you. Let's hear what Mohit is saying. Hi, this is Mohit Sanjeeti and I'm to be weather on the 20th of April at Lonavla. It would truly be my pleasure to be featured at your show Yari, Dosti and Shadi. The cherry on the icing being that the outfit would be designed by Anita Dongwe herself. She has been best known for delivering a sharp impact with the Summer of Leaning collection. I would really be excited to be wearing something which has been inspired by her Summer of Leaning collection. I am narrowed by her collection so I would be at the end of it leave it on her as she is a true inspiration and the best judge of what I should be wearing. Thank you. So Mohit has really studied the entire collection. Some of the yeah, last he seasons. seems like a detailed guy. He knows the names of the collections. He knows the name of the trouser that he wants to wear. Very cool. Yeah. I think what he has in mind is great. He wants to wear, um, you know, the printed uh, trouser and a nice cool linen shirt because it, it, it's by the pool. I'm, I'm excited about this. I, Perfect. Yeah. Anyways, both of them have said that they trust you completely yes. and then you can yes. design their looks. Yes. So done. Looking forward to make designing their collection. And what about their friends? So um, uh, Nidhi's best friend is Kanika and Mohit's best friend is Abhishek. What do we think? I will them? give Kanika and Abhishek something to compliment. Something young, something colourful, something happy. So we're gonna something see lots apt of... for a pool party, yes. So we're gonna see lots of colours. Yes. So Anita, like you know, this is the last episode of this season. Yes. I'm teary-eyed because I'm not going to get to shop from the Anita Dongri store anymore. Oh, you can always keep coming. Our doors are open can for you. Can I? Yeah, you. that was a plan <laughs> to get that out from you. <laughs> so, Anita, you've designed clothes for 13 brides and grooms and their best friends. How was the experience? I've uh, enjoyed meeting the couples very much. You know, uh, there's something about something so special about a young couple who's about to get married. And I just feel very fortunate and blessed to have been with them um, to design their clothes for such an important day in their lives and to have interacted with them. I've enjoyed hearing all the love stories the most. <laughs> it's been so much of fun. Everybody's story has been different, been so unique. But just seeing, um, just meeting them and, and you know, uh, seeing the love in their eyes for each other, uh, looking at their excitement for the big day and um, this most important day of their lives. I, th I think it's been very, very special. So Harleen, how was it for you attending so many weddings and oh my God, and eating all that yummy food. <laughs> I know, I think first of all, I put on a lot of weight. I don't think so, so because to. you're still wearing the same size. So that I can vouch for. Oh, that's Anita Dongri's magic. I absolutely love your collection. Love your work, love the designs and I'm Thank just feeling you. sad that I won't be able to meet you now and <laughs> I'm spoiled now. I don't know how to go to a wedding without wearing an Anita Dongri outfit. <laughs> no, no, you can continue wearing. <laughs> <laughs> so I've told you about my experience. Now you tell me, out of all the 12 brides and grooms and their best friends that you've designed for, which design was your favorite? Oh yeah, that's a really tough question. I can't answer that one, Harleen. Everything I make, you know, I fall fun in love is with. in the challenge. You know the fun about um, you know when you when you design a really nice garment and it looks beautiful. So there are so many mixed emotions. Now everything I love, I design, I love doing. So Anita can't choose from all the twelve brides and grooms that she designed for. She can't pick her favorite outfit. But I'm sure you'll have your favorite. Take a look. Anita, what a journey it's been, full of masti, maza and madness. And to top it all, 
some exquisite jewelry and clothes designed by you for so many people yeah. so many brides grooms their best friends and of course me and alek it's been super fun it was really fun meeting all the couples i think the most interesting part of the show for me was uh, listening to their love stories and uh, being part of you know all the excitement in their lives keep coming I will keep coming. I'm going to shop a lot from your store and um, I'm going to go and prepare for season 2. Great. Keep coming and bring our leg too. Why? You don't like me. I like you but I like our leg too. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I'll get him. <laughs> Bye. 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 So I'm going to miss Harleen and Ali coming to the store going crazy about the clothes. They're little bickering. It was all super fun and I'm really going to miss them guys. I think I'm gonna have like this wedding of mine will be defined in two ways. One wedding where my parents are making me do all the rituals, and there's one where they're in, like, taking me into a festival. So I don't know whether I'm gonna call my wedding a wedding or a wedding festival altogether at the end of it. Mohit's entry, I was getting jitters and thrills. He walked down with some gorgeous 10, 15 carnival girls. I think Moet's entry was really grand with the whole uh, Brazilian dancers and the whole fireworks. 